Well, I got a little video clip I'm gonna play for you, so you can get a sense of where my brain is at this morning. Here you go. And action. It's thunder. And you will remember my name until the day you die. And most of you bastards joined the prison service because you were too cowardly to join the police or the army. The army that is right now defending our borders against the communist masses trying to infiltrate our beloved fatherland. And the police were fighting in the townships so that your wives and mothers and daughters and sisters can sleep safely in their beds at night and not get raped by fucking gaffers while you sit comfortably on your asses on paradise fucking island. Well, that all changes as from today. Because this island is now my island. And the war will be fought on my island the same way that it is fought against Swapo on the borders and the ANC and the BAC in the townships. Your enemy is behind these walls. And you are at war with them. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Is that clear? Fucking clear! Yes, <laughs> Welcome to hell, you heathen bastards! We are not heathen! We are not heathen! Thank you, Porky. I don't want that animal bleeding in my prison. Chain him to the flagpole so he remembers forever what flag flies above this land. have television 20 years after the rest of the world uh, suit yourself Donnie yes two triple brandy sweet says him you don't have a chocolate for me too do you <laughs> very funny so tell us about Mandela what does he write in those letters to his fat Black bitch wife, huh? <laughs> Try and have a quiet drink here. Go on, Gregory. Tell us, man. If any cut, do you have any idea why the prisoners call you Umbukani? I don't speak Kafa. <laughs> so how would I know? <laughs> Let me tell you. It means one of those great big green flies that feasts on human shit. Really? Really. So tell me, is it true what they say about Gloria, your wife? Eh? <laughs> what? 
Then at night you take her up to the prison so your your darky friends can snack on some white pussy. <laughs> a tea party tomorrow to welcome Colonel Stander's wife to the island. That's very nice. Wives have stopped coming to have their hair done. I'm sorry, Gloria. <laughs> How could you let things get to this point? I think if you met Mandela, you'd understand better. This man goes through all kind of crap because he helped Mandela. See what I'm saying? Why is it that white people are so hard on each other for helping somebody black? Why is that? Why is this group of people been raised and bred to dislike us? Why is that? There's a divide and conquer going on so large, it's on a worldwide scale. And as a human being, all any other person wants to be treated all any other person will ever want throughout the history of life is to be treated fairly and equally with everyone and everything around them. There is no logic in one group enforcing their will against another group. There's no logic in that. What do you get? The control is not worth the outcome. Civil war, civil disobedience, uprisings, murder and death to be a human being is the greatest challenge that all of us have to respect each other is the greatest challenge that we can ever meet but to overthrow the demons that control us we must learn how to respect each other to the point of total respect don't like me because I can shoot the basketball and hate me because I can dance Stupid. Don't hate me because I have confidence where you don't. Don't destroy me because you feel as if you're better. Until we can find a balance where everybody can be human and friendly towards each other. Until then, you've been too. I heard of a really nice small prison in East London called Port Glamorgan. They say it's very pretty on these coast. You want me to put in for a transfer? How would you feel about that? 